Hey guys, it's Shelby and welcome back to another video in the I Tried Zero Waste Grocery Shopping at series. I have a whole bunch of these on my channel where I try a bunch of different conventional grocery stores, some less conventional grocery stores. The whole point of this series is to show people what your options are around you and hopefully help everyone feel like they can do a little bit better for the planet in zero waste grocery shopping at their own store, whatever that may be. Today we have a really exciting one that I always forget about. I don't know why I always forget about it, so thank you for suggesting that I go here. If you guys didn't know, I basically read the, all the comments and decide which one is commented most for which one I should do next and then I go there so if you have one that I haven't done yet that you want to see make sure you leave it in the comments but today we're going to Sprouts to be honest with you I've never grocery shopped at Sprouts I've been there I know they have a bulk section which is very exciting but I've never gone there to like fully do a meal prep or like a grocery shop I'm hoping I can go shopping get back here with enough time to meal prep um, for the week for Madison because I'm actually going to meet up with one of um, my favorite youtubers I don't want to give it away just yet you guys probably know we've met up before she's one of my absolute favorites and she's in the u.s right now so i'm gonna go see her but i do still want to make sure that madison you know has something to eat while i'm gone because i'm just that good of a fiance i always want to say wife or girlfriend but like i'm neither of those at this point anyway i'm talking too much i'll see you guys when we get to sprouts I just realized I almost forgot to tell you guys what I bring for Zero Waste Grocery Shopping, which are my Chico bags always, and my bag of produce bags, essentials. Other things you can bring, and I wish I had remembered, are jars, specifically because in Sprouts they will tear the weight, which means you don't have to pay the weight of the jar that you use. Okay, I just did my first walk of the store like I normally do. I walk around the store, see what there is package free. There's nearly everything. I don't know why I've slept on Sprouts for so long. If you guys have not tried zero waste grocery shopping at Sprouts, this place looks clutch and they're pretty accessible and I think they're on the line of affordable. I guess that'll be the question of the video, but there's so many good things in bulk and I'm really excited. So I wanted to throw a few tips in this video that maybe I haven't mentioned in my other ones, but a lot of times single bananas at grocery stores get thrown out because people don't buy them on their own. So it's a good way to reduce food waste, to buy the single bananas. I decided I'm going to make Madison a lentil curry. Something else I do when I grocery shop might be a little bit obnoxious and it doesn't really have anything to do with saving the environment, but more so with saving money. So if you shake the water off of your produce, that's going to prevent you from having to pay the price of water when they weigh your produce. So that's just a random little tip of something I've been doing recently. Shake all the water off so you don't have to pay for it. It might be a very minimal difference, but you know what? It's worth a try. Sprouts even has a bulk spice section, which I'm really excited about. I don't have any bags for that. I think, I don't even know what kind of bags you would use. You'd have to bring a jar, which I think they tear stuff here. Now I kind of wish I had brought a jar. But I didn't know what I was gonna get, so I guess there's that. The only thing so far I haven't been able to find um, of that without packaging is Gram Masala. I don't think they have it on the bulk uh, thing. I could be overlooking it. Oh, it's right here. They have everything else I need without plastic. I'm not gonna buy everything actually because I have some at home. Like I buy my coconut milk from Thrive Market so I don't need that, but they have it. Thank you. 
So not only did Sprouts have your regular bulk stuff, but they had really creative things as well. And they had reusable produce bags or bulk bags, whatever you want to call them, right next to their disposable ones to let people know that you can definitely use reusables whenever you're shopping in the bulk bins, which I thought was really exciting. You guys, I feel like such a dork for not knowing about Sprouts before now, but they might become my new regular because they are closer to my Whole Foods now and they have a lot more options than my H-E-B. I'm just saying. I just want to make a note that I wore a flannel today in attempts to be festive for fall and there are like pumpkins and pumpkin spice everything and sprouts and it is uh, still 86 here in uh, good old San Antonio and it's only 11 o'clock. You just gotta love trying to live the fall vibes in San Antonio, Texas heat. It's so upsetting because everybody else on like my Instagram is like sweater weather and they're all getting excited for, you know, the season. Or, or they live in California and they're saying it's hot and it's like 75. I'm not mad. I'm not being shady. I'm just saying it would be nice to have actual like fall weather. Okay, thank you. Okay, actually, I decided we'll do the haul over here since I never get to use this as a background. Like, I guess I could theoretically film a video right here, but you get to see most of my favorite houseplants in this shot. So, let's go over what I got from Sprouts. I say it all the time, but these bags are truly just amazing. They come in such handy. They're just easy to carry, especially when I'm by myself. First thing I got is bananas, special request specifically from Madison. This has nothing to do with the meal that I'm going to create um, from this shop, but she just asked me to get bananas. I got some spinach and some green onions. I just put them in this bag like this so that they weren't laying in the grocery basket. Sometimes I do that. Today I was like, I'll put them in this so they don't touch anything because I'm literally going to cook with them right now. Cilantro, or for those of you across the pond, I believe it's called coriander. Some broccoli. One little thumb of ginger. I totally could have just gotten package free tomatoes, uh, reduced them, and then like crushed them, but I'm legitimately in a real hurry today. So getting these in a can is not the worst option. Aluminum is actually one of the best materials to recycle because it uses less energy to be recycled than it does to create new aluminum. So it's actually actually one of the waste streams that is like most widely recycled. So, got those. Then I got two types of lentils because I'm not sure what recipe I'm gonna follow. I've never cooked with red lentils before. I have cooked with brown. This They were labeled as green, but these are brown lentils. I mean, I bought them before and they were called brown, but they were labeled as green there. I don't really know, but I got both types of lentils and that's, that's everything. I don't normally include what I create with the stuff I buy. Normally it's just like, take you to the grocery store, show you the haul, peace out, I'm done. But I'm actually literally gonna whip this up tonight or like before I have to leave at four o'clock and it's almost one. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of that just because a lot of you ask for it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video other than that, but Sprouts is really impressive. I honestly think they might come my new Go to at least for bulk like I get a lot of my groceries from imperfect produce you guys know that so it delivers straight to my door produce that otherwise would go to the landfill so I use that for produce most of the time HEB is kind of like my gap in between there and when I have to buy stuff in bulk I generally before we moved would go to Central Market but that's really far now and then Whole Foods is another option but Sprouts is much closer and dare I say probably more affordable and I also even think they might have had more options than Whole Foods but they didn't have like liquids so my whole foods actually has bulk olive oil so i'll still go there for that but sprouts is a really great resource so if you have one in your area don't sleep on them like i have been for years i don't know what's wrong with me anyway let's get cooking Some snap peas in there because we had some left over from an older imperfect box i'm actually surprised that those 
peas are still good, <laughs> but I went ahead and threw them in here, although I've never seen one done with like snap peas. I've seen snow peas and green beans like that, but we'll see how it comes out. Okay, you ready to see what you got? Yep. So, I made this curry lentil dish for you. Ooh. So you do the rice, the curry, and then you put this on top, which is spinach, cilantro, and green onions. All right, let's go. And look, I made you these little packs for lunch this week, so you can take it, and you can like assemble it here, but I'll make some for also for when you have to leave for work. And then you have to top it with some of this. Sexy salt, babe. You have to get some of all of it because you just got cilantro. Yep. There's uh, spinach and there's also green onion. I haven't mixed it all up yet, but. Mmm. Not bad. I think you use some salt though. I literally oh, put double good. the salt that the recipe recommended because you always say that. It's salt. But it's good. Woo! Alright guys, so well that's it for this grocery haul and really quick cook with me. I have to quickly get ready because I need to leave in like two hours and I'm not ready to leave. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know where you want me to try Zero Waste Grocery Shopping at next. And remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs. But, but the, the world, world needs all the good, good you can do. Fail. That you can do. Bye, guys. <laughs>